how are you guys doing today? So listen, we gonna be seeing y'all gonna be seeing a lot of this lately because I ain't got no bike. You feel me? In the grind, don't stop. I'm gonna keep continue to to give y'all content, make videos for y'all, informational videos, and stuff that people need to know, as well as stuff that y'all wanna know. You feel me? So today's topic, title and thumbnail of the video. Safety tips when learning how to ride and or wheelie your bike. You mean you can't be out here worming and bum riding and squinting at the same time. Like, no, we just, we, we not doing that. Not if y'all, not if y'all on Breezy Gang watching Deep Breezy Vlogs. Hell no, I got to keep y'all sharp. I got to keep y'all right. You feel me? You're not about to be out here worming. You're not about to be out here squinting. You're not about to be out here bum riding. You feel me? We don't do that. We don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We might ride hoagies and lemons every now and then, but we don't bum ride or squid or worm or none of that. You mean? So I'm going to be giving you all the safety tips and the cheat codes. You feel me? Let's get right into it. One, number one, y'all. It should be the most fucking obvious thing ever. Wear your goddamn helmet. Like, it really don't make sense. Personally, when I see people out here who don't know how to wheelie and without a helmet, like, I see you trying to wheelie and I know you know you're going to fall, but you still chose to not wear a helmet or any protective gear in that matter, but the most important part, a helmet. Like, guys, that, honestly, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but that got to be the dumbest shit in bike life. I promise you, if you don't know how to willy, yes, I'm talking to you. If you're out here, you don't know how to willy, and you outside with no helmet. I don't care if you just go to test ride the bike. Don't know what. If you go to test ride the bike down the block real quick, because nine times, maybe eight times out of ten, you're gonna try willy it maybe once or twice. And every now and then, that once or twice turns into somebody looping a bike or coming down the wrong way and falling off and swerving into a car. Like, I didn't see way too many videos on YouTube and Instagram, y'all. If you want to get on a bike, again, I don't care if you test ride. Shit, I don't care if you just starting the bike. Put your fucking helmet on. You, you, oh my God, you shouldn't even start your bike if you don't even got your helmet ready. You know what I'm saying? If your helmet ain't ready, like on your handlebars and or somewhere, you shouldn't even be starting your bike. You mean? If you're about to go ride, and especially, especially if you're learning how to wheelie in the pack or by yourself, please don't do it in the pack, by the way. But by yourself in a parking lot, an empty space, whatever, bro, bring your helmet. Because I see way too many of those those guys out there without a helmet, y'all. And it's, it's scary, to be honest with you. Number two. You know what I'm saying? This is a little bit on personal preference, and I kind of contradict this myself. I'm going to say gloves. When I learned how to wheelie, I always had gloves on just in case, in case I fall, I'm not scraping and banging my knuckles all up. But I don't only, not only because of that, guys, riding for an extended period of time, for a very long time, you'll start to get callous and your hands get all rough, y'all, and gloves will help prevent that, even if it's a little bit. Now, personally, I wore gloves most of my riding life, you know what I'm saying? And it's only recently... A couple months ago, I started taking it off because personally, I start feeling more comfortable and I don't know, it's just, I feel more comfortable and the way that I ride, I'm not really holding on super tight, so I'm not getting a lot of callus and stuff, but every now and then I do throw on gloves, y'all. So if you're learning how to wheelie or if you got a lot, your hands start to hurt, put gloves on. Put protective gloves on or just put something on so you're not completely fucking your hands up. Put something on. I'm telling you, because once you don't have these no more, it's kind of like, you, ah, you done, for real, for real, like, what, how you gonna grip it, you, like, you gonna grip it with your nub, because you ain't got all your fingers no more, because you ain't gonna put no gloves on, like, I don't know, it don't make no sense, wear gloves, if you're learning how to wheelie, or ride your bike, guys, wear protective gear, now, when I say protective gear, that's like a wide spectrum of shit that it could be. Because obviously everything in this video is about protective gear. Helmet, gloves, stuff like that. But guys, I'm talking about certain shit like the chest pad, you feel me? Elbow pads, knee pads. I said knee pads. Elbow pads, knee pads, chest pads, shoulder pads, all that, y'all. Like recently, probably either the beginning of this year 
or late last year, I've been wearing knee pads under my pants, just in case I fall. Just in case, and when I'm doing tricks like knee knocking and stuff, it kind of, it don't, it don't fuck my knees up too much. You lose a little bit of grip, but I don't know, it's comfortable for me a little bit. Like I said, I, I lose a lot of it, a little bit of grip, so I don't knee knock forever. But it, it definitely does help, and I'm not getting like a lot of scars and banging up my knees and and rug burn or whatever, skin coming off my knees and shit, and my shins, y'all, so wear pads, and if you fall, you got pads on now, I'm not saying be that dickhead in the, in the pack with some big ass shoulder pads, and a big ass chest pad and all that shit, y'all, but if you're on a lot or something, trying a new trick by yourself or a couple friends a lot day, guys, wear a chest pad, wear a neck brace, wear some elbow pads, especially the stunt riders, they, I think they wear all that shit, wear some knee pads, wear some pads, because don't be like me. Don't be like me. I was literally that guy who thought I wasn't going to fall while I was learning how to wheelie. I swear to God. Like, my man Czar told me. He said, bro, you think you're just going to learn how to wheelie and not fall? I said, yes. That's exactly what the fuck I'm going to do. Because do you know who I am? I'm going to be the greatest at this shit. You mean? I'm going to be the best at this shit. I'm not the best at this shit. And I, hun I done failed countless times, y'all. So, never went outside without a helmet, though. Like, that is wild. That is, that's scary. That's wild. Wear your helmet. But definitely wear some pads, elbow pads, knee pads, chest pad, neck brace, shoulder pads if you need to. If you're in a lot by yourself or a couple friends trying some new shit, be fucking protected. Guys, I wear. Now, when I say I wear, I don't mean some tight ass glasses or whatever glasses. Even if you want to wear some tight ass glasses, it could be goggles, face protection. All that, y'all. Put on a mask. Put some put some goggles or some glasses on or whatever to protect yourself. Because a lot of people, when they learn how to willy, they tend to haul ass. I'm telling you, like, they being... They, there's people legit who go through every year. And just because they have it up and they go through every year, they call it a willy. I'm like, bro, that's not a willy. That's a near-death experience. Like, they'll go from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and Keep going, riding out that wheelie as long as you can. Now, when you're learning how to wheelie, I understand. Shit like that happens. You're going to speed wheelie. It fucking happens. It's a part of the game. You know what I'm saying? But when you're speed wheeling, your eyes start to get all, you know what I'm saying? Like the winds in your eyes and you can't see shit, bugs, rocks and shit in your eyes. So put some shit on so you don't fuck around. Close your eyes, not knowing where you're going. Fuck around. Hit somebody, hit something, hurt yourself, hurt other people. And it just be a whole disaster because you couldn't see because a little tiny ass bug flew in your eye when you was trying to learn how to wheelie. It's a lot of disaster for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I see people in a pack with some sunglasses, with some tight ass glasses, motorcycle glasses, goggles. Wear something to protect your eyes. Now, there's people out there who don't. Listen, to each your own. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want. But when I was learning, I always had my goggles on just in case something flew in my eye. Because it has before and I couldn't see. Shit almost got bad. You feel me? So wear eye protection. And the last thing on my list, y'all, number five of safety tips. Everything that I just said is top tier, most important. But most of all, y'all, know your bike. Especially if you're new to this and you just can't hop on any bike and do what you do. And wheelie any bike just, just like it's natural. If you're learning, know your bike first. Know your brake. Know if you gotta hit it. Cause some brake pedals and, and stuff are different. Some brake pedals you gotta push them all the way down. Some you tap it. So you mess around and all you need is that much pressure. You fuck around, do that, and then you come down, flip over your bike. Or your bike might need a little bit more pressure. You don't hit that much, which is what happens to a lot of people. And the bike keeps going back and you fall and loop your bike and tumble roll and all that other crazy shit, y'all. Know your bike. What I do personally, before I start wheeling, I always check my brakes just to get a feel for them. I'll ride, pull the clutch in, hit the back brake, look at my tire, make sure it's locking up, you know what I'm saying? So I know if I need to, the bike's going to come right down. Because the worst thing to do is you try to wheelie and you got slippery brakes. Or your brakes just aren't acting how they were supposed to because you didn't check them before you went out. So check your brakes, check your throttle. Get used to the power of your bike. If it's strong, if you have a very strong bike or you have not so strong of a bike, understand how much throttle you need to give it, how much brake uh, pressure you need to give it, when to pull in your clutch, when not to. 
just know your bike. But guys, those are my five tips right there. We're going to be dropping some more inspirational videos and some motivational videos and just some videos to get y'all on the right path and track and what the fuck. So y'all not out there looking stupid and being worms and being bum riders and riding them hoagies, riding them lemons and squidding and so you don't hurt yourself for real, for real. So we're going to be dropping some more tips, tricks, and stuff, y'all. But like, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you guys do best. Comment down below which tip you think I forgot or which tip you enjoy the most, y'all. But like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you again for 5K. I completely forgot to say that. Thank y'all for 5K subscribers, y'all. We're halfway there to the goal of 10K. So let's keep running these numbers up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you guys do best. I love y'all. And we'll see y'all next vlog.